Hey friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Electrical and Electronics Knowledge. So in this video, you learn all about heat sink. So let's start this video. Every electrical and electronic component in a circuit generates some amount of heat while the circuit is executed by providing power supply. And that is the reason the heat sinks are used with the electronic devices and particularly with those devices which generates a considerable amount of heat. So what is heat sink? And the answer is heat sink is an electronic component or a device of an electronic circuit which dissipates heat from the components of a circuit into the surrounding medium and cools them for improving their performance, reliability and also avoids the premature failure of the components. The heat sinks are available in various size and shape but the purpose of every heat sink to remove the heat from the component and the heat sinks are widely used in electronic devices. Friends, don't skip this video and if you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends. Now let's discuss about heat sink principle. So the heat sink operation is based on Fourier's law of heat and Fourier's law of heat conduction states that if temperature gradient is present in a body then the heat will transfer from high temperature region to the low temperature region and it this can be achieved in three different ways such as conduction, convection and radiation. Heat sink transfer the heat or thermal energy from a high temperature component to a low temperature medium like air, water, oil etc. Usually air is used as a low temperature medium and if water is used as medium then it is termed as cold plate. So as shown in this picture the heat sink is connected to the component and this component transfers the heat to the heat sink via conduction. Now to minimize this heat transfer the component and the heat sink should be in the proper contact but even if you connect these two surfaces properly then also at the microscopic level if you see some air gap still remains between the two surfaces and due to this air gap the heat transfer between the two surfaces will get affected so using the thermal compounds like heat sink compound the air gap can be minimized and due to that the heat transfer between the component and heat sink can be maximized now from the heat sink the heat is transferred to the surroundings through the convection method and a minor amount of heat is also transferred using the radiation method so in this way the heat is transferred from the device or component to the surrounding heat sinks also depends on the airflow so speaking of the airflow the heat sink can be classified into two categories number one active heat sink number two passive heat sink so in case of the passive heat sink there is no mechanical moving part and the heat is transferred through the natural convection while in case of the active heat sink the heat is transferred using a forced convection and in this case fan and blower devices are used so friends i hope you learned all about heat sink from this video so if you have any question let me know here in the comment section below and if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe the channel and share with your friends